okay in this session we are going to see section of solids of a cylinder and a cone problem initially uh, we will see the problem of a cylinder the difference between the cylinder and the prism and pyramid is here the lateral faces are curved in nature it is called the solid surface revolution like it will be covered by uh, circular uh, boundaries and uh, cylinder will be having bottom base and the top face as like your prism and here we need the diameter and the length of the solid or the height of the solid so that the projection of solid can be done and here also when solid stands vertical it will stand like this and a cutting plane may be passed either it is perpendicular to hp or perpendicular to vp or perpendicular to both here let us straight away take a problem a cylinder stands on hp of 40 mm diameter and 65 mm height next section plane perpendicular to vp and 50 degrees to hp cuts the cylinder through a point and the axis 30 mm above the base draw sectional top view true shape of the section here as like previous problems first we have to look at the data related to projection of solids then data related to section and plane and what is asked here data related to the projection of solid is name of the solid cylinder it stands on hp and which is having a diameter of 40 mm and height of 65 mm it is enough to complete the projection of solid projection of solid first we have to draw the top view first and then front view is a rectangle that we have to do and a section plane perpendicular to vp and 50 degrees to hp therefore it will be visible as a line in the front view therefore we have to introduce the inclined cutting plane in the front view and then we have to project the points to the top view so that it will form sectional top view and then true shape of the section because of the cutting plane is inclined 50 degrees to hp we have to draw from here and it has to be projected here this is the overall idea about this problem therefore here let me start a cylinder of 40 mm diameter it has to be divided into eight equal parts for easiness then these are all called the generators the top face corners are to be named as a b c d and bottom face corners are named as a1 b1 c1 those are all invisible as usual a b c d are visible and a1 b1 c1 are invisible here as there are no corners we are dividing this into equal generators therefore this is a a1 this is b b1 this is c c1 d d1 e e1 f f1 g g1 h h1 here we have to project the respective generators to draw the front view here this is the axis here in this line we will have axis and also the generator here as axis also an imaginary one and generator is also an imaginary one therefore here the dominancy is axis therefore i have to draw the axis axis at a height of 65 mm i have finished 
and then from every point that I am projecting up so that the okay, from here it will come and then through this it will come. Now at the bottom I have A1, B1, C1. This is my A1 dash. This is my B1 dash. And H1 dash is invisible. This is C1 dash. G1 dash is invisible. This is D1 dash. F1 dash is invisible. E1 dash. Likewise at the top, here I will have A dash. B dash. C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash within bracket, G dash within bracket, H dash within bracket. Now I have completed the projection of solid. Next I have to introduce the cutting plane which is inclined at 50 degrees to HP. Inclination with HP is visible in the front view. Therefore here I have to introduce that 50 degree line at a distance of 30 mm above the base. From here, mark 30 mm above the base, and through this, I have to introduce a 50 degree cutting plane. Here, a 50 degree cutting plane is marked, and through this point, I have introduced. Therefore, cutting plane comes like this. Okay. Now, I have to mark the cutting points as like previous problem. Here, the first cutting point is this visible edge AA1, therefore, this is 1 dash. B B1 2 dash C C1 3 dash D D1 4 dash and then here the top face D E 5 dash visible D E 5 dash next uh, uh, all visible cutting points are over next I have to mark the invisible cutting points here D E visible and the same way E F invisible that portion that is called by 6 dash in this we have F F1, this is 7 dash. Then here 8 dash invisible that is on G G1. Then here H H1 is 9 dash. Totally here 9 cutting points. And I have to draw all these cutting points to the respective places in the top view. From 1 draw vertical line, therefore this is my 1. From 2 draw line, this is my 2. From 3, this is my 3. Then from 4, draw a line, this is my 4, and my 5 and 6, here I have to draw, it will be on the base, therefore this is my 5, this is my 6, then 7, this is my 7, and this is my 8, and this is my 9. Totally all the 9 cutting points I have brought down to the respective places because this 1 is on the edge of A A1. This point represents A A1 therefore 1 is also represented here. This is on 2 therefore this is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 is on the base. Therefore 5 is on D E, 6 is on E F, 6 is on E F. Now I have to connect the cutting points by straight line here, 1 to 2. 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5 and then here it comes. Here this portion will be removed off and the remaining portion I have to do it by H pencil. Only the boundary I have to make it by H pencil because there are no edges even though there is an edge B, B1 it is an imaginary generator therefore it should not be drawn by the interior generators are not to be drawn by H pencil that has to be left with 2H pencil alone therefore this completes my uh, front view in the same way here I have to connect 1 to 2, 2 to 3 by smooth curve 3 to 4, 4 to 5 and then this 5 to 6 is straight line, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9 continuous line. Here this remaining portion that is this 5 to E is available, therefore this portion is to be drawn by continuous line curve. Now this is the hatched air surface that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it has to be hatched, 45 degree line.
this portion that is 5 6 e is unhatched so that now this is uh, solid this is the hatched surface this completes my first question sectional top views over next i have to do the true shape of the section for drawing the true shape of the section i have to make this 50 degree or uh, line parallel to this one uh, here this is my x1 y1 which is parallel to cutting plane and I have to draw perpendicular lines from these respective edges respective cutting points connected all these are all perpendicular okay. now on this line 1 I have to measure this distance and I have to fix it here 1 this I have fixed next on this 2 I have to measure this and I have to fix 2 next measure this 3 fix it on this third line next measure this 4 fix it on this 4 next measure this 5 fix it here 5 next measure the 6 fix it here as 6 7 measure this fix it here as 7 and this 8 8 next 9 measure this fix it here as 9 now we have to connect these cutting points by smooth curve except this 5 6 because this cutting point 5 and 6 are on the base therefore the cutting point 5 and 6 are straight line remaining all cutting points are to be connected by a smooth curve therefore start start from here one draw an arc which passes through all these cutting points by a smooth curve This completes my true shape of the section. This has to be hatched. This completes the here the thing is here it has to be connected by smooth curve except this point number 5 and 6 because the cutting points 5 and 6 are on the base therefore whichever the cutting points comes on the base is to be connected by straight line remaining all cutting points are comes on the lateral face as the lateral face is curved in nature we have to connect all these lateral cutting points by curved surface therefore these are all curves next to finally we have to draw the dimensions of it here the dimension is its diameter diameter of 40 mm and then height it is 65 mm and then this height is 30 mm and this angle is 50 degrees this completes the problem of a cylinder which is cut by a section plane 50 degrees to HP so that we have drawn the sectional top view and true shape of the section. In the next problem we will see a problem of a cone in the next session.